not to be a boy. It's everyone but who? The boys, meaning the girls, the women, the men. Is that true? You guys with me on that? If you're not a boy, you're a girl or a woman or a man. So use the complement rule here. This is 1 minus the probability of what event? You have to tell me. What is it? It's 1 minus the probability of which event? Boy, good. 1 minus, what was the probability of selecting a boy? 0 0.029. Isn't this so easy to do now? Your calculator is doing the work. What's 1 minus 0 0.029? 0 0.971. This is a probability of selecting a non-boy. And as a percent, 97.1% of the passengers aboard the Titanic were not boys. They were not boys. OK, you guys OK with that? All right, let's take a look at question five. What does question five say? You're a boy who what? So could you say this is a boy and what? And a survivor? You're both a boy and you what? Survived. Is that true? So if I know the number of boys who are also survivors, I already know that there's 2,223 passengers. How many boys also are survivors? Can you go to the chart here? Here are the boys. What do you guys notice? 35 boys died, and 29 boys what? Survived. So how many boys were also survivors? Do you guys recognize this as an and situation? You're a boy, and you what? Survived. How many? 29. So what is 29 divided by 2,223? 0. One, three. So 1.3% 1 of the passengers were both boys and survivors, or boys who survived. OK? You could do this, because it's the definition. You could do this. What's question six say? Boys who do not, what does that mean? You're a what? A boy. And you what? And you what? Died. Okay. Okay. You're a boy and you died. A horrible thing. Okay. So, number of boys. So you're you're looking for a passenger who satisfies both criteria, being a boy and what? And dying. So how many boys died? 35. How many passengers? 2,223. What's this as a probability value? 0. Point? And what is that as a percent? 1.6? So 1.6% of the passengers were boys who died. OK. Now let me ask you this follow-up question. Let's note. Let's note this. What's the probability you select a passenger who is um, a boy or survived? You're a boy or survivor. Right? 
right? What does the, hmm, you see the word what? The word or automatically, what do you guys think of? What do you think of? You see the word or automatically. What do you guys think? Tell me. We just talked about this all morning long. What was that rule called? Huh? The addition rule. Good. What is the addition rule? It's a probability passage is a boy plus the probability of what? Survivor. Good. Minus the probability you're a boy and you what? Survived. You guys okay with this? So what do you get with this? What's the probability that you're a boy? What is it? I think we determined that. Isn't that 64 over 2,223? Is that true? Plus, what's the probability that you're a survivor? Oh, we determined that too. 706 divided by 2,223. Minus, what's the probability you're a boy and you survived? Didn't we do that too? Yeah, what is that? 29 over what? 2,223. Is that true? So what do you get now? You guys remember how to add and subtract fractions with the same denominator? You simply add and subtract the numerators, divide by that 2,223. What do you get now? What is it? 7, 7, 4, 1 over 2,223. What is this as a decimal value? 0 0.3, 3, 3, oh, OK. As a percentage, this means 33.3% of the passengers were boys or survivors. Boys or survivors, OK? Now, here we go. Let's ask you guys this question here. Let's see. Let's change this stuff. Very often, um, people like to compare various groups. You know, and it happens all the time, and it's very interesting if you compare different groups. Like, for example, if we compare, you know, we, we like to compare men and women all the time because although there's a lot of similarities between men and women, there's also a lot of differences. Is that right? Okay? So, for example, do you guys know at one point I wish I had bought stock in Apple? Apple was Apple computers. They were pretty. They were pretty 